Well, here we go again, folks. Another fishing um, video report. First, I want to thank everybody that subscribed to the YouTube channel. Thank you and welcome. Uh, there is a uh, video up for us fishing for early uh, salmon. If you haven't seen it yet, um, I'll figure out how to put a description somewhere down below. And you can go to that. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you find it in, um, informative. Moving along to the fishing. Well, another week's gone by. And really, not much has changed. The fish are still just trickling in slowly. I'm sitting on the benches on the bottom end of the Douglas and Salmon Run. And today, we're swinging some flies. We managed to get a coho and a few other grabs on a swing. The swing presentation has not been the greatest. In these low water flows, that's not unusual. These fish just don't feel as secure and comfortable. As a result, they're not as grumpy not as grabby so very often and true to form for this week we've been having to use a lot more of a kind of what I call a sloppy dead drift those little drifts the slower presentation has been working really well for us also we've been finding a lot of fish still in the deeper pockets any of the pools that offers them some cover uh, that's where we've been getting most of our fish uh, since I've been hanging out in the Douglas and Salmon Run you know, very often these fish are coming in at night. A lot of night movement, and that even goes for the rest of the river too. These fish are moving at night. They'll come in, and you'll see some activity first thing in the morning, some run activity first thing in the morning. And these are just fish finding themselves out in skinny water going, whoops, I gotta find cover. And they just go forward until I find a comfortable spot, a deep pocket, a deep pool with a comfortable, with a little overhead cover, and they'll just hold up for the day. So as a result, we might get a little bit of moving activity, be able to get some quick action on a pinch point. And then very quickly, we got to reposition, uh, using once the sun gets on the water, and we'll start uh, hanging out in the deeper pools, any deeper pockets, cuts, that's got some depth and some overhead current. And the fish will trickle in there, slowly trickle in until they find, they're looking for a comfortable spot to sit. And we're sitting in those comfortable spots and fishing those and those That'll build up with fishing. Some days we can get some really good activity in there. Other days they'll just sit in there and be grumpy. It's salmon fishing. So that's basically what's been going on. The fly patterns, we're still staying with the standard stuff. Uh, a lot of olive woolly buggers, uh, black buggers, some brown buggers been working. We've been starting to pick a couple fish up on maybe like an egg second leech once in a while. That's enough that we're starting to try it again. Some small wet flies have been working really good for us. Probably sixes, um, size four. The size four wet fly sounds big, but it really ain't. That's probably a little small on your size um, six woolly buggers. About the same size, maybe a little shorter. So we've been doing art with hair wings and stuff like that. And the nice thing about hair wings, since they don't hang the bottom as well, that skinny water we're getting eaten up with flies, but the hair wings seem to swing over them better than a bead headed fly. So something you may want to consider when you're fishing is to fish a lighter fly that will drift over the over the uh, rocks and stuff like that not as hang as much and we're still for the most part we're working with um, fluorocarbon leaders and a couple BBs to get the flies down uh, the last couple of days we were playing around with some sink tips we were able to get a few good grabs on that uh, one of my guys Kelvin loves to swing flies and use a tip and we've been able to scrape up some good bites so that's been working fairly decent, not as well as I would hope, but that I'll blame on to low water conditions. And the next week, they're talking about some rain. Oh man, we need rain because we're still holding at that 185 water flow and we need some help. Even the trails along the river are getting dusty. So we're, we're getting to the point where if you think about coming up, bring some water, at least pray for some rain. It's getting skinny. Uh, as for the fish, um, this week we got into a nice handful of coho. So the coho is starting to squirt along with the Chinook salmon. So we're having some coho and Chinook squirting through. There's also in the bottom end of the river a few really nice brown trout being caught in the bottom end of the Douglaston. So there's some beautiful lake run browns showing up, which I'm hopeful for our November fisheries. And I've been hearing a few rumors of some steelhead. We haven't gotten any steelhead yet. Um, however, we've gotten into some really bright 
female co-host that when you see them jump around, you'd think they're steelhead. But they turn up, when we land them, get them in the net. We discover that they are coho salmon. Uh, but they were a lot of fun. Real plucky fish. That's pretty much in a nutshell for what's going on with the fishing. Uh, it's, I'm, like I said, I'm hoping we get some rain. If we get some rain, things should um, improve. The rumor mill says there's a bunch of fish sitting out in the lake. I hope that's true. Biology rules. So it won't matter on the water flow. They're going to, they got to show up. So hopefully in the, it'll start improving next, you know, next few days. I've been saying that in every report. Hopefully it'll improve in the next few days. But going forward, um, it's just the same old drill. It's salmon fishing. You get out, fish. Nice thing about it is if some of the spots where there's a lot of fish is kind of crowded, but if you want some quiet water, you can find some quiet water. Uh, Mid-river, upper river's got salmon. They are up in there. Some of the pools are actually starting to collect a bunch of fish. So there, there is some numbers of fish in there. Yes, they are crabby, but there is, you know, starting to get some numbers in some of those bigger pools like you know, around Pineville and Trussell. So they're starting to, and sportsmen are starting to collect a bunch of fish. So that's also good, but if you don't want to deal with the crowds, uh, th you can spend a few minutes and walk away and get some really nice quiet water. I'm down at the bottom of the Douglas Salmon Run right now. Um, my guy Kelvin's out fishing away, and we have plenty of quiet water right where we are with some fish in there, and once in a while we get a poke. So going forward, hopefully things will crack sooner or later. Uh, like I always keep begging everybody, that little subscribe button right down there, that little bell icon's right next to it. Please hit that. I uh, love your comments. Keep them coming. Uh, hit the like button. That's great. I love the support. It's very helpful. And we got the, um, as I mentioned earlier, the uh, early salmon, fishing early salmon uh, videos up. That should be right in the, uh, on the uh, YouTube list of videos. Go take a look at that. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, that's about it folks until next time thanks for watching talk to you soon